All right, all right, all right. Three, two, one. It's been a, it's been a long time since I've done uh, one of these, and you you know I know it's to other people it might not seem like why who gives a you know who cares man it's like um, you know sometimes we get a little busy and we get a little. We get a little tired, you know, and, w you know, it, like, when I was doing the show back then, I was just, I was just like, it was so much uh, chaos happening during that time. It was, you know, that pandemic, and, you know, I just had to keep working and, and you know, maintaining my family, but, look, uh, uh, I just, uh, you know, I, I just want to keep doing this because it's it's a fun thing to do and and it's something that's gonna you know in the long run it's gonna be good for my health like mentally because I can really say what I want to say now and you know when I had the other show and I was trying to figure out how it was gonna be like I was a little shy on how she how how I should even speak um in the mic and in which kind of way I should uh you know address you guys and stuff because I know you know people are going to be listening to me and they're going to have their opinions of me and and who I, I may be you know and that's fine you know I'm, I'm I know I'm going to show you like specs here and there of me you know throughout the time that I start doing this and I always wanted to do it, it's just that, you know, when you work uh, 9 to 5, it's it gets time consuming. And, and when you have to do everything, you know, you just, <laughs> I got kind of lazy. And, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it now and I'm going to keep trying to do it and, and release, you know, a couple episodes and actually be a, uh, like, this is like kind of a, like a step to being more uh, creative and also doing something then other than just you know just being lazy and sleep all day and stuff and sometimes you just you want to do that like i do want to do that i am lazy and but I, you know i have my moments where i just you know i want to see what you know i can i can come up with and and hopefully you know i i do like making videos and all that stuff it's just that when you're just tired you know you're just you know, you don't. You're not doing it because you're making money. It's just because you have, you know, free time and uh, you you use that free time. And now that I do have free time, and I, you know, and it's, I was just kind of like a little scared of coming back on the mic and start talking. But now I'm, you know, you know, feel a little bit comfortable because it is a one man show, and uh, this show is gonna be about me talking about it doesn't start like a monologue like how i did earlier right now with just i guess an introduction and then you know things that happen hold up things that happen throughout the day or things that i thought about or deep thoughts you know that's what hectology is going to be about because hectology was or is is about me and how I think and how other people think and you know you know we I we read here we see we see it and we say what it is but sometimes what it is on the outside is not really you know real everywhere but in hectology this is gonna be a, it's gonna be a cool show because I'm gonna just start with a little little monologue and then i want to do like you know uh, three movies that i saw or, or shows or whatever i saw throughout the week and and it's gonna be a i want to make it a short show for right now i don't feel like i could you know when our shows are kind of ridiculous i feel like whenever i finish this it's gonna be you know at the right time right moments and you know i've got my whole thing across and um yeah i'm gonna just keep doing this i'm gonna start uh you know, talking about whatever, 
and, and well, whatever you know, anything important that that I thought was important throughout the day, you know, and I'll just talk about it, and then I will also talk about a movie or a, or a film because I also did that, and I kind of want to put that in the, you know, in the uh, in the the podcast because I am. I do love, you know, horror movies and all that stuff, and I would like to talk about it. And you know, I, I, I yeah, the, it's, it's, it's a, it's gonna just be for me to go in a, you know, right direction instead of me just going everywhere and wanting to make, want to make a show about like this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And I just don't want to do that, and I just want to stick to like two things for right now, and I think that will be great, you know. So. For this show, I think I'm going to end it right now. I think, what is it, like, six minutes? Oh, man. <sighs> six minutes talking. Wow. Six minutes. All right. So, I'll talk to you about the movie that I saw recently. It's called Population 46... 63 I think 493 look I don't remember the number all right and this show is gonna be about the top of my head you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be you know it's not gonna be a scripted show it's just what I you know at the moment there you know I'm gonna sound like a dummy but (laughs) I'm gonna be just doing it just what comes out of my mind and not you know making a script or anything like that because I don't, I don't think I, I I wanted to ever make a a show with a script or anything like that and I feel like you know once after you know after a while I'm gonna get comfortable and and you know take it you know more smoother than I do now because it's it's kind of rough just talking to yourself for like a good hour you know but for for right now We'll talk about that movie, Population 493, I think. So, uh, Population 493, I, I saw it on Netflix. Um, it's, it's, there's a guy in there. He's like, uh, he's going to do the census. And uh, he couldn't find, you know, a couple people. And then they find he finds out that they're like in a, in with a doctor, supposedly. And this doctor has him... Um, treat he's treating them f- with a illness the fever as they say and the fever is causing them to want to leave town and if they leave if they leave town supposedly you know bad things are going to happen so the guy he's already the main character the you know the protagonist is running around you know trying to find people you know, trying to find a way out and uh, trying to, you know, try to make, trying to escape with this kid who's stuck in this uh, hospital, this little clinic, and it doesn't wind so good for him in the end. You know, um, the movie kind of goes in a weird direction sometimes, and you don't know if it's like supernatural or, you know, just like a cult, cultish kind of. Uh, thing you know because like it's kind of it kind of reminds me of this other movie that was called the endless which like there like you kind of see the deity that's gonna you know that's chasing them around and stuff and this one is just kind of like you know somebody's like behind the bushes or something like that and i i i think the ending was like it was okay you know if you if you look i'm gonna spoil this movie because this is what i'm gonna do in this show and look he dies in the end with the little kid and then his friend comes and he's like hey have you seen my buddy and they're like oh he just left town right now but you're welcome to come in and then that's how it ends you know but look i'm gonna have i'm gonna spoil fucking movies for you guys because i can't uh not give out i mean maybe in the long run maybe you guys give me a warning and uh you know let me know about that you know i uh i thought the i thought the movie definitely was very low budget i think they did an okay job with the little storytelling um i think well what else did i see
finished watching Lucifer. I don't know if you guys ever seen Lucifer on. Uh, it used to be on Fox, I think, and they moved it now to Netflix. Netflix uh, bought the the show because they had a, a good audience of people that actually wanted to watch the show, so they kept running it. And this, I mean, I'm just to give you kind of the uh, the like a little summary of it. It's just like the you know Lucifer comes down you know the you know satan or uh you know samael or whatever you want to call satan lucifer morning star um for you know he 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 leaves hell and he winds up going to LA and and he kind of he establishes a nightclub and um you know after a while he like um like in the beginning of the season, he, he, like one of his friends, uh, who's also like happens to be like a rock star, like winds up getting killed, and he tries to go find them, you know, seeking revenge, and he meets up this he meets this detective who catches his devilish eyes, and uh, you know he she she he uh, he and her kind of start developing a, a bond. And and it gets like spicier, you know, and spicier as the seasons go on and confusing, you know, there's a lot of drama. It's very much like a, you know, a, a, like a forbidden love story or something like that, you know, but I, I happen to like it. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's much of a chick flick. I think, uh, I think people are going to be pretty entertained by this show. Um, what else did I see? So Lucifer, yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh Oh, The Sons of Sam. Have you seen that one on on Netflix that documentary? Uh, this this uh so pretty much a a killer out there in in I think around the 70s in New York and it went and it was just like a string of of kills that didn't really make sense or didn't add up and they were just like there must be one killer but you know they f they they sketched out the the faces because some people are catching you know catch the glimpse of the, these uh, supposed killers and they all winded up uh being you know they wound up looking different in each sketch one looking like a female another guy looking like an asian guy you know or you know just very different bone structures and you know it gets deeper with you know this guy who who gets caught in pretty much in the act or whatever david berkowitz who is accused and also pretty much confessed to the ki uh, to the murders and he said you know it was me i am the son of sam and um you know there are people trying to try to talk to him and he he didn't really quite open up he was scared that he said he said he, he also got like you know stabbed pretty bad in the th in the neck and he had a pretty big scar around his neck because he said like somebody was trying to kill him and they're also trying to kill his family which you know he happened to be adopted his real parents never really loved him but it, it was just uh yeah it was pretty much a deeper it was more of a deeper um, web of of people, you know, supposed supposedly working together, or more. It was like a like a cult or a or a, 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 a satanic cult, like a pretty much with like ten. It's an organized, uh, pretty much uh, you know, terroristic uh, organization that. You know, pretty much killed like you know whatever ten people maybe on uh, in in I don't really know the number maybe ten people in New York, but just like you know specifically blondes and couples and and then there was like these people that they you know they, they eventually like saw that their you know under like David's house was like uh like this tunnel way which led to like this bridge where they found like. They were doing uh, these rituals and they found out that these people were doing the rituals. But every time they would find somebody, they would just 
find them dead or they just couldn't find them at at all and I, I was like damn dude everybody's dead and you can't find one of them and um you know if when they found one he just uh, i think that he committed suicide and so like he uh yeah it was such a it was such a big big uh it was just a like a string you know just a web or was it a a, a worm or wormhole or a, or a rabbit hole oh, yeah that's what it is a rabbit hole just a rabbit hole of people that was these people that were connected to the process i think it was called the process church who were also connected to charles manson who also you know supposedly you know was in a satanic cult when they you know when he killed uh well not he did but his uh his followers killed uh sharon i think it was this sharon stone or some shit but look who i they gave you three fucking shows and movies or and or and i think i'm gonna end it here i think this is how i would like to do the show and thank you guys for watching it give it a like i'm gonna try to put this on spotify and whatnot you know thanks a lot guys give this a like and a follow or a subscribe